Okay, I, I don't think we really need to pay attention to the story of this one. I will say, welcome to RoboQuest. I am uh, very interested in playing this game. Enemies drop healing cells, which quickly disappear. Gather them to repair your scratch damage and restore your health. So it's got like a... Uh, it's got like a Borderlands vibe to this. Let's try to open that door. Give me a sec. Okay. Well, choppity, choppity, bippity, boppity. I want to get into the game and play. Intruder access denied. Is, I, I believe this game's like a roguelike sort of... Uh, punch it or head bonk it. I, I want to jump on his head. Uh, uh. Take this, you'll probably need it. Oh, hello, fox gun. Level one, common. I'm, I'm liking this so far. So you got Max's special. Lowered crosshair, it increases the verticality you can uh, perceive. Or the classic, it works fine, but well, you know, it's not mine. I'm going to take classic. So we've got a standard crosshair. What else are you doing? Here we go. Uh, go ahead, I'll catch you later. Oh no. Hold to sprint. Uh, toggle to start. You can use both at once. I'm going to go hold to sprint. Oh, that's going to be really, really fast paced, isn't it? Sprint double jump. There we go. Nailed it. Bastion makes you invulnerable and consumes battery. You can turn it on and off. Uh, the battery regens over time. It's a Q. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Well, I like that. You can hold down the fire button. We don't have to keep clicking. Taking damage reduces a part of its uh, stored a scratch damage, dropping to zero with engine run. Taking down enemies, drop healing cells, gathering them repairs a part of your scratch damage. Using the repair robot repairs all of it. Okay. So we need to cross the door. Follow the path. I want to get rid of the big ones. I want to know what that does. Level up damage plus and health plus. Taking down an enemy gives you experience. Okay. Perk select. Oh, we've got a new perk. Transforms Bash into Bonk Hammer, increases his damage by 50%. Uh, bash takedowns of 6% chance to drop 6 additional healing cells. While Bastion is active, increases weapons damage. Uh, I'm definitely taking Stim Bubble. What are these? You can actually shoot the grenades. I crafted a repair robot, use it to heal yourself. Well, thank you very much. Could you check out what's inside the weird structure? I certainly can. I'm probably going to die doing it, but at least we will uh, have explored. Choose. Oh, hello. So we get a ball shotgun. I'm definitely taking the SMG. And that's going to shoot me back. Yeah, there we go. You found some firepower. Let's move on. Oh, well, this is this is much better. Except they have turrets and drones and things. Oh, I'm scared. There's just so much going on. I forgot that I get extra damage from that. I got rid of the turret. There's just so many little dudes. It's going to be hard to pay attention to everything on the screen. There's just so much. I, I did all of it. So, the control panel displays info about the map, your class, weapons, perks, and more. So, I can press tab. Box gun, Raptor SMG, Stim Bubble. So, we've got X, X. Why is, there's like ticks and X's and stuff. We can't do anything with our door. Uh, an interesting area. Fix up the generator.
Yeah. Could you try and get... Okay. Oh, there we go. A few days later. RoboQuest. Workshop, locker room, difficulty, start, multiplayer, museum. We handle all our expeditions from here. Feel free to take a tour and make yourself at home. Based on your performance, I've made a suggestion. Recommended standard. Oh, and I mean, I'll take standard. It's fine by me. So there's difficulty. Select class. Oh, there's loads of different things there. Unlock by taking down 750 enemies. Find the lost javelin. Take down a boss in chapter 2. Upgrade your base camp to level 4. You can upgrade the base camp. Find the chromatic cell. That's the start. This is the workshop. So we can work on our weapons, I'm guessing. You start a run. Oh, with a choice between four weapons. So that's like our permanent upgrades for each run. Sometimes deploys Chef Paul. A friendly bot uh, can upgrade your weapons using power cells. Museum? What's this? Arsenal. Oh, there's a lot. Okay, we'll leave that for now. The Brobot Lounge. Oh, this is multiplayer. Okay, so start. You can find data logs by scouring the levels. Doing so will give you some Robo Law and grant you extra wrenches to upgrade your base camp. So use wrenches to upgrade. Weapon choice. Open the starter pack. Uh, I'm glad you're with me. Oh! We've got a green uncommon splasher rifle. So, bounce projectiles, bounce. Every two shots fires three at 20% reload speed. Well, I'm, I'm going to take that, aren't I? Nothing up here. I, I do want to explore and just see what's going on. You never know what you're going to find. Like a data lock. Three wrenches. Very nice. So let's go through the door and let's begin our journey. Oh, well, this is a cool weapon. But it's got... Oh, it's an actual cooldown weapon. I mean, it's, it's not hitting enemies that well. Um... A power cell, power fists. Increases weapon damage by 25% against enemies within 7.5 meters. We reduce their damage by 50%. Uh, I'm going to take the power cell. I don't know if that was a good or a bad choice. But we're making progress. Why is there a little... Hold your horses. Am I going to make that jump? Of course I am. But what did I make the jump for? That was, that was pointless. Oh, you can actually grind the... Ra I did not expect to actually be able to grind those rails. Leveled up. Does that mean I get a perk? So a little stop-off point. Unlock door. Show data logs. You need four more. Jewel stingers. Fire rate's better, range and crit's better, damage is down. Half of your bonus movement speed's added as damage, projectiles bounce, accuracy and range. Do you know what? I might switch to that. I, I don't care about the head bonk damage. Do you know what? I'll take the slower fire rate and grab those. I've analysed the uh, seams. We need some sort of keys to open them. You don't have the key. How do I get hold of the keys then? I can't interact with that guy. Oh, these are pretty good. But you have to be really, really accurate. Yeah, look at how quick I've ruined stuff. And it's got range on it. Or well, they have range on them because they're dual stingers. Ow, I forgot to do my perk. Elemental damage by 5%. Every 4 seconds rolls a random one. Gathering a healing cell generates 1 point. I don't really... I'll grab the healing one. So what's this? A Dragoon Mortar.
Yeah, I'll try this. Uh, nothing up there. Let's say the rail. It's not bad, but it's not great either. Right, let's check out the upgrade. Increases max points to 20, increases their duration. Weapon damage by 10%. Oh, I'm obviously going to take that, aren't I? Dual sawn off. Um, I'm going to get the weapons I've got. I didn't realise I was travelling. I got a B. Oh, you're, you're uh, ranked on time. I don't like that. I'm not going to focus on the time at all. So, Max's chest. Green's igniter gun. Uh, level 3, 20% damage and 25% range. Deals burn damage, projectiles are homing. 10% damage with 10% shot energy cost. I'll try it. I, I didn't even check the other thing, did I? Do we have any data logs? We don't, do we? Right, let's try this. Oh, that's pretty cool. It burns. What is that? What is that absolutely fucking beaming me? Did I get it? I killed it. I need the healing. Oh, this so Are oh, you stupid with how many enemies there are? I don't know how I've survived this long. Not going through there just yet. I see something green on the minimap. Oh, is this that weapon drop? The igniter gun. Oh, that's a little bit nutty. Do you know what? We'll get rid of the stingers for now. Wait, this is going through to a green area. But it looks as though there's multiple choice for the doors. I, I can't go through there yet. I'm going to have to come back on myself. There's just so many different paths. Yeah, this ain't bad. I mean, I'm going to die. I've got 2 HP. Game over. I'm going to try and run through this door. See if I can save myself. Oh, there's the key. It's only 30%, but I did get health. Level 3 Tommy gun. Uh, long range. Yeah, I'll take that. Extra damage against long range enemies. See, but I can't go back through there now. I've lost like half the health that I got back. I need to start taking it easy. Uh, there's a boss. Or what is that red bar? Uh, it says I better watch out. Reduces cooldown by 10. I don't really use it. I'd need to use it more. No, I'm going to take the damage though. Here we go. Diggy mole. No, this boss is nutty. Absolutely nutty. I can't find a weak spot. That's my problem. Come on, Diggy Mole. Come on, Diggy Mole. Come on, Diggy Mole. Oh, this thing is fucking nutty. I did it. I did it. I did it. I actually killed the boss. My first ever attempt. I got a B. I got three and three. Oh, we've been offered a... It's a level five. Oh, just look how good that is. It's better than the Beluga Cannon. 20% auto crit chance. Projectiles bounce and pierce. It's got nice damage. No, no, I want a better gun than this. No, I want a better weapon, should I say. Because this ain't even a gun. No, I'm a little bit scared about everything that's going on. 
We have one of those things there. We have this little thing here. And we are good for the enemies. So I'm going to do the new upgrade. Uh, okay. I knew, I knew something like that was coming. I was trying to be too aggressive. I wanted to grab those... Uh, those healing cells. We've got 16 wrenches. It wasn't bad. We got a B and a B. So those wrenches that we've been getting for the data logs, we can spend them in the workshop for permanent upgrades. So we can start the run with a choice of four weapons. Bizarre Bob, a friendly bot that can craft items using power cells. Deploys, uh, you can forge weapons or uh, upgrade your weapons. I'm going to take the choice of that. We have, to do, we have to do the whole road to move to the next lot. Well, that was a look at RoboQuest. I really, really enjoyed this game. I like the permanent upgrades. I like the weapon choice, the fact that you can get different levels and different rarities. You get the perks and upgrades and stuff for leveling up. The enemies are cool, even though some of them are drones. I really can't stand drones in games. So yeah, I think we're going to be paying a visit to this again. I thoroughly enjoyed my time on it. But what we're going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about RoboQuest in the comments. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.